And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Spooky Karma. Second time playing this deck. Uh, whenever we played it before, it was pretty fun to play. A pretty challenging deck to play. We're playing a control deck based around Karma and, uh, you know, Karma's ability to generate uh, multiple spells for us, be our card advantage engine. Pairing Karma with Shadow Isles because Shadow Isles has Ruination. It has the Sweeper in the format. I remember last time we were pretty reliant on Ruinations at different times. Ruinations getting denied um, cost us a little bit. But uh, we have an updated list here from what we played last time. Um, somebody in, in chat, he sends in chat, sent me this updated list to, to try from um, Alan ZQ, which is... Uh, a player who's doing really well um, with this deck in Masters. So we're going to try their updated list and see how it goes. A um, couple of things that you know we haven't, you know, now we got Frenzied Skitter in here because this card is it's just kind of too, yeah, it's just kind of too good to, not to play. You know, even it's just a good um, card just to fit in the curve uh, and just kind of too powerful not to play. Um, and we're not playing Harrowing which I remember last time wasn't that impressed with Harrowing, but we got another Rekindler, another Ruination. The thing about Rekindler is there's times like where it's just in your hand as a six mana four, four, cause you can't find karma. You know, like you're not drawing karma. Like if you don't draw karma and this is just a six mana four, four, it's really not very good. But of course the upside of bringing karma back is so high that uh, I guess we're going with a third one in here. Um, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll kind of see how it goes. You know, like we're, we're slow to start off with. We're going to be, um, kind of storing some spell mana and, uh, trying to catch up in the, uh, late game. We got a good amount of life gain with Grasp the Undying, Withering Whale. Um, of course the Awakener has life steal and the, uh, Darkwater Scourge has life steal, especially if we can death mark. Um, yeah, that's kind of the, the plan of our deck. All right, here we go. So let's go play some Spooky Karma. We just went from Spooky Spiders to Spooky Car Karma. And Sen says, I'm not sure how well this will play in Diamond. I think Elusives is probably a bad matchup. Okay. And Masters, people are expanding to different decks a little bit more. Okay. Um, uh... Um, elusives, yeah. So uh, if elusives is a bad matchup, that's probably, you know, probably not the best of signs. What do we got here? We got Demacia Noxus. Um, basically, I'm not sure if I want to keep the Vile Feast. I'm not keeping any of these. Probably against Demacia Noxus. We'll keep Vile Feast. Don't love my mulligan. Vengeance is super slow. We have Deathmark with, without the ephemeral stuff. So we'll see what we want to draw into. We want to draw Dark Water Scourge. Vengeance is a terrible draw. But we want to draw Dark Water Scourge. Our deck is pretty slow. So aggressive decks are, um, are a problem. And looks like... Turn one, sit three. It looks like our opponent's deck is pretty aggressive. Did y'all hear that little horn that just went off? Like that was, that's from my fantasy baseball draft that's going, but I, I have it muted on the screen. At least it shows that it's muted, but I don't know, it still went like that because I guess it's my pick. There's a chill in the air. Yeah, this doesn't look good. 
kind of wish I didn't play this, so I would have had the mana for Grasp the Undying to kill Lucian. Hey, Doom Waffle, it's going good. So we're banking two mana. Reporting in. So I want to. So next turn, let's see. I really only want to spend four mana next turn so that I can have Ruination the turn after. But it looks like we're not going to be able to get that. Like, you know, we're going to have to play this Grasp of the Undying. And so I won't be able to play Ruination. Our mulligan was not good. You know, drawing like these vengeance death marks is not a good mulligan. But oh well. I'm playing against Swimstrom. See, this is the turn that we need to play Ruination. Um... Man, none of my options are very good. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess, so yeah, he's Masters ranked. I've been playing against a lot of Masters ranked people today. I mean, I think, you know, Diamond's like r right next to Masters, and I think, you know, there's just probably not an abundance of people to get paired against, probably. So you just get, you, you know, Masters and Diamond ranked players get paired against each other. I think that's pretty reasonable. I would absolutely love for them to play some other spell first before going to combat. Nope. Well, it's my only option to try to stay alive. I'll be very surprised if this actually works. I'll be very surprised if this works. Given the plus one plus one, <clears throat> gave them six damage, and I was at six, so exact lethal. Yeah, that's what I meant by I'd be surprised if it worked because all they needed was any pump spell whatsoever, and they weren't really playing other stuff. So I'd, I don't know what they would have in their hand if they didn't have a pump spell. Vengeance, you're too slow. Okay, so Withering Whale could be good. They picked the wrong row. Catch me if you can. Silent as death.
<clears throat> so I didn't I didn't vile feast this thing because it's gonna die to withering whale. And so I guess like my thought here is to like withering whale try to um Try to kill a bunch of stuff with Withering Whale. And then have Vile Feast take out, you know, like X2s. First step's the hardest. Got what I came for. That worked out pretty well. Still worked out pretty well. They follow the wrong Why would the Wayfinder not attack? Spells are just so expensive. Extra hands never hurt. Don't act till I got it. Hmm. Really wish I had one more. Because with with one more mana, you know, be able to grasp plus vile feast. But we'll just go skitter. Try to vile feast to the four one. Yeah, Skitter is just awesome. Interesting. Yeah, this is um, Mogwai Hexen Bogan is the name of the song. I will type that out. All right, so they gave plus three. Card's pretty big. I'm probably going to be casting a Ruination here pretty soon. I 
So I'm not sure if I play this other Shadow Assassin or wait till after Ruination. That's not a very good draw. Well, I guess it's gonna give me a bunch of wait. No, they still have deny. They still have deny mana available. Um. Yeah, it would be good to yeah, it would be good to wait till in two turns when we have ruination with deny back up. It's too late for you. Oh, that, that's true. If we get to 10 mana anyway, we're just casting two Ruinations because of Karma. So it's not even like a big deal. They did have that deny. Question is, do I deny back? I think so. so it's pretty soon. If I can just wait two turns, it doesn't matter if they have deny or not. All right, thanks, J-Jack. I'll check it out. So yeah, we're basically doing great now. Um, this way. Don't really have to worry about the damage too much because we have you know, the heal seven draw we can do. Hmm. I don't know, am I just passing? I have too many cards. So six, twelve. Well, that's pretty good. I do have like I have another karma in hand if we did ruination, but honestly, like, their board wasn't very uh, wasn't very impressive, and and therefore I just don't don't really need to ruination.
Like we've gotten into the late game exactly where we want to be. Max hand size is 10. So we're right there. You know, so we got to cast stuff. Like that's, you know, got to cast this. My opponent doesn't like that I have a million cards in hand and a lot of different routes to play, I suppose. Because I could just kind of go all in like with these Mark of the Isles and then Death Mark. I cost five mana, I'd have three left. Dangerous land. I got five mana. That card's pretty good. yourself to the shadows I knew and now I am cool head steady hand unwavering heart you cannot escape Alright, we'll see if we get to keep a 14-14 flyer around. No, guess not. Well, let's make a bunch of random spells. Maybe we get a death mark. Um, nope, no death mark. So they did have double deny. Oh, the death mark next card. So close. Yeah, made them use both the knives. I mean, they're at what, like, you know, one, one card. My life for the order. Uh, 
Guess we'll just make two more spiders. Give them, make them both four. Make them all three ones. So many routes to go. Let's see. Let's kill this. Right? Yeah. We can take some damage, you know, again, I had the gain 14 in hand, I had the 7 mana gain 14 life, so I could pretty safely take some of that damage in the air, it wasn't that big of a deal. <clears throat> Alright, and we're 1-1. One one. So it looks like we got a, a spooky karma mirror. I was, the thing I was debating about is whether or not to ship the Awakener back. But I definitely like keeping the skitters. Trying to get out early. Skinner or Tribal? Or basically, you know, like... Why just stop at Spiders when you just play Skitters? Definitely have to counter that death mark. Um, yeah, go go to the store. I mean, it's it's uh, kind of in the middle of the night for us. I think Rex, go to if you go to the store tab, uh, it'll tell you like when like wild cards reset. It's it's at that point. But yeah, so yeah, get to ten today. For the vault. <clears throat> I think it's like 3 a.m. or something like that. Good, you're at 11? Yeah, I definitely want to get to the double digits so you get the free expedition.
And if you get to level 13 and you get the three diamond chests, you get, you know, almost enough or like close to enough. Um, you get like over 2,000 shards just from the chest. So, you know, you're, you're getting like kind of close um, number of... <clears throat> um, number of shards to get for another expedition. Short cues, nice. Dude, you're gonna like it. Return to us. Lame. Don't you bow, bow, we will. Black bug is just too scary. He's sitting there all alone. I'm not going to play this Awakener because it doesn't really get to do anything right now. I'm going to just bank the mana. So yeah, I could could use Vengeance, but instead, um, with them not having very much mana, like they shouldn't have any way to stop this. I don't think. I'm trying this route. Yeah, for a little while, blue blue pill. Um, stopped with Arena, going with Legends of Runeterra instead. Doing something new after a decade of playing Magic. Yeah, they could have another death mark, or they could have a mark of the Isles. Many past lives in a single soul. Mark of the Isles would just kill my five five. Also, we must make our own path. Come to the light. He's on a shiny now sign. I'm seeing a shiny now sign. I don't know, maybe I just block here. To the next slide. Play this thing. Next turn I just do the Withering Whale, kill these. I will play my part. I kinda wanna give them priority first, see if they play Karma, because if they play Karma I need to vengeance it. If they don't. A withering wheel. Not really a difference of me withering wheeling and vengeance, except for they could have Mark of the Isles. Bleh. So probably not surprised that we're behind the Karma Mirror because they've had Karma Advantage. They've played three Karmas and I've played zero. So probably not surprised that we're behind now. Really? Yeah, there is, yeah, there's a whole lot, yeah, this is a, 
Um, yeah, it's a very skill intensive game for sure. My wisdom is now my strength. Strength from what anger it is. You cannot escape. Wish I had a karma. Like they're going to be able to get another karma. Oh, yeah, that was a really difficult card to deny for sure. Can we draw karma, please? I mean, I guess karma's not as good right now because you don't get the, extra, the free spells, but no, 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 no. I just kind of need it. The order rewards its faithful. Yeah, starter deck if you enjoy creature heavy stuff. Yeah, definitely, definitely the spiders. Like how you you start off in the game, like the spiders are are a good place to be. Um, yeah, kind of like the the Darius Elise spider decks are definitely a good, definitely a really good starter deck. <laughs> uh, they just had a, a lot better. Why is the spire? Oh yeah, because the hapless aristocrat. They had a lot better hand than I did. They had, they've had karmas. I haven't. I've had four karmas. My path is clear. I've had zero karmas. This is my car. And really can't, really can't win a Karma Mirror without Karma. Suffering, so we may end it. I knew, and now I am. 
<clears throat> yep, tutorial is real easy to do, to learn. It's a very well put together game. We're basically just in garbage time. Yeah, I'm sure there's a competitive elite deck. Yeah. I really like the alliance. I don't think it's an elite, but the Demacia Alliance card that gives all your creatures plus one, plus one. That card's really sweet. Will of Ionia's looked really good. It's a card that I don't have in my deck. That card's looked really good. game just going to come down to decking they're playing very very carefully no suffering we may end it That's their third one of those. I mean, we're at, we're at the exact same number of cards right now. Neither of us have card draw. So I'm not exactly sure how this is going to end. Hey, Team Mellow. So I'm not sure how... Yeah, like, I don't know how we're going to be able to deck our opponent. I don't know. We can't get them to draw other cards. I mean, I guess the game could end in a draw if we, if we both mill out at the same time. Um, I think I like Heimerdinger Karma more than Spooky Karma. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<clears throat> oh, I thought that wouldn't work. But it did work. We still have not drawn any of our karmas. We're down to 11 cards left. We've drawn none of them. But yeah, I think y'all are right. I, I don't think there's... These extras can't win. That, this is why I'm saying why we need one Ledros in this deck. I think one of one of the three rekindlers should be a, a Ledros. Oh, they have harrowing. We burn, then kindle the new. I don't have harrowing. Can I just like get a karma? Still haven't drawn one yet. Right. <laughs> yeah, isn't this just gonna end with us both being with this being just a draw, I guess? Yeah, not if they start actually using their removal spells. Because I want to use, I want to get a Karma in play before I cast mine. So I can gain more life. Oh! No, I'm, now I'm going to die. I didn't even think of that. No, now I'm going to die. Well, I just lost. Because now I have one less, one more card. I was just like, oh, I can start attacking. But no, like that's, that's just dumb. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see when we draw our first karma. But yeah, now. Master. I think y'all are probably a little bit behind. You're probably telling me to wait after I already played that. There we go, we drew one! We drew a karma! They're all in the bottom five cards. Why are you saying don't drop? What do you, what do you? I don't understand what y'all are saying. Don't, y'all are saying don't play it. Why not? That 
big. I don't understand. You can tuck her with the spell. You can tuck her with her spell. I I have no idea what you what y'all are talking about. So you can't have you can't have karma in play. I understand. With, I understand. Okay, so it's a fairy tuck, but how does it work? Like, how are you supposed to do it? When you draw a second karma, you send one back into her deck. Yeah, you have to have a karma in play, though, right? For that to work? Oh, but now they can kill the karma? Oh, whatever. We'll, we'll bring back karma. That's not a problem. Like, we also need to gain life so we don't die from them attacking us. One candle for every sun. We couldn't just sit there and do nothing, because we need to gain that life. So I have three cards left. Two of them are Karmas. I don't know what the last card is. I haven't tried Karma Puff Caps yet. No, uh, we're gonna be, we're doing that later on. The team or, the team of Way, Wayfinder is is Karma plus Puff Caps. So that's that's what we're gonna be playing for our last deck tonight. They got five cards left, and I'm at two. We each die, then found hope. Return to us. Last be on so I'm back up to four, they're at five. I want to get the cards out of my hand because otherwise I was going to have too many cards in hand and we we're going to be drawn, you know, like we were going to have to just destroy the card that we drew. But I mean, I guess all this is is just going to be people drawing karmas and then playing the karma spell to shuffle karmas into the deck. Man, what a terrible mirror match. Great. 
Yeah, they probably have they probably have a harrowing too. I mean, we have to clear the battlefield before a harrowing would do anything. Yeah, I, th I think we should have a Ledros in here. Just need to get need to get the spell out of my hand. It's kind of the problem with Karma's, in, Karma's insight to, to ages. Yeah, I don't really know how this game's gonna end. Sure doesn't seem like it'll ever end. Uh, do I use the deny on that? So I have more cards left now than they do. No. Oh man. This game makes me like not want to play this deck anymore. <laughs> I think my deck has one card that's not Karma in it. I think. I think there's one card that's not Karma. Many past lives in a single soul. Oh man, these harrowings aren't even any good. The harrowings aren't even getting like rekindlers that would get you karmas. This is my cause. Strength. Yeah, I'm enjoying this new game, Legends of Runeterra, more than MTG, Nick No. And I wrote about that there in that Google document. Thank 
rekindled anew. Well, we drew the only card in our deck that wasn't wasn't a karma, unfortunately. So that definitely hurt. Why do you think I had lethal? You think that they have no removal spells in their hand? Because that's that's pretty silly. They would need two vengeances? What what was I supposed to do? What use like rush or something? What, what do you want me to cast harrowing? Like the slow spell? Cause Or do you want me like if I would have played Harrowing or Awakener? How'd you want me? Fresh offerings? I mean that's still a slow spell. They would have just played Ruination like that. Oh, after on their end step. Okay, I see what you're saying on their end step. After they play the Harrowing, they're out of mana. Then I play the Vile Maw and get some stuff and then go to combat and attack. I see. Get two more karmas. Uh, now they have two cards. Now they have two karmas. Is more than open eyes. <sighs> Might actually just be all four, all four cards should be just karma. We will not stand by. Should have nothing but karma. Many 
man, this is gonna be... <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Does that other spell only give you Shadow Isle spells? Just Karma's... No, there's no way it only gets you Shadow Isles, right? Yeah, it gives you spells from, from these two regions. I was basically wondering if we could get Deny with it. I mean, they have they have another karma in hand, so like the karma just like they they're gonna have they have infinite cards. Like that's, that's the thing is like we both just have infinite cards. There's not there's nothing that we can do about it. It's burst speed. Um, I don't see how this game ever ends, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I could, I can just try to play Harrowing and Smash, but they have a, they, they have a lot of cards that answer Harrowing. You know, basically, you know, Deny and Ruination. Do not question our resolve. I can try. I don't know if it, I don't know if I, I should wait to try to have, but. The thing is, I can never have Harrowing plus Deny. So, I mean, I guess I might as well try. Uh, we have five Karmas right now. The other three cards in our deck are all Karmas. I'm at these two. I think they have two Karmas and we have five Karmas. So, I don't know how we can... Um, I don't know how we can take advantage of that. So do they have another ruination? They just played one last turn. Yep. Uh, no, you do not life steal off of barrier units because units that are barriered you don't deal damage to, and so you do not get the life steal. So they'll have two karmas in hand. I'll have three, but we'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Okay. Where there is life, there is peace. If you run out of cards you lose, but that's the thing is we're we're stuck in a spot where we can't run out of cards. Never gonna end. 
We have we have infinite cards in hand and infinite cards in library. I have too many cards in hand. I guess I'm just gonna get rid of a. I guess we just lose a karma. I could cast. I could just cast this quick attack thing. Right now. So I draw karma. I I should probably do that. Uh, cause karma gives you infinite library. Cause. Oh, round limit exceeded. Oh, okay. If you if you take forty rounds, I forgot about that. If you take forty rounds, it goes into a tie game. Also, yeah, the game just can't end. Wow, we're one and one. Yeah, delete deck. All right, let's let's maybe put in a Ledros in here. I mean, we're probably just not going to play a match like that again, right? Yeah, 120, 125 XP for a tie. Yeah, it was not. Oh, that's that is kind of interesting. Um, I'll just play it as is for two more games. What would we take? So for Ledros, probably just take out the third Rekindler. Yeah, I'll put a Ledros in here so we can actually win games. All right, Ezreal. Get a different hand. I don't like any of those cards. We did just play a game where all three of my karmas were in the bottom uh, four cards of the library, bottom five cards of the library, and we didn't lose. So that's kind of cool. Essence, do you have any any uh Safeguard our homes. Any tricks as far as playing that you recommend? Or like you know, do you have any the dark Any strategies that I need to make sure to adhere to for this matchup? Play my part. 
turn take you. Um Yeah, I like I like the the Vlad Spider deck. I do. We didn't have like the best record with it today, but we did the other you know, the other time we played. Like so together the two times we played it, we we're eleven and seven. I like it as a spider deck. Okay, so you want to keep try to keep your life total high and trade cards. All right, so I'm good. I took out those two ones. Fresh tracks. Count to four twos. Need a target. Walking in the stream. Karma. done a horrible job of drawing karma. Are you kidding me? Cow party now. Master. Join the conflagration. It's the same if I if I wait if I do that right away or wait. It's the same like we'd be at nine because we were at twenty. We wouldn't have gained the three lives, so it, it doesn't matter either way. But waiting just does mean that they you know don't give them like the time to play like harsh winds or anything like that. Just have it all. Just have it all.
yeah, we can't we can't find karma to to save our life. And we do have the three ruinations now. I want to like have deny available to protect a six six awakener to be honest. So this could be a, a poor use of deny for me if I'm not able to keep the awakener alive. The order rewards is faithful. Just stay alive. No, you can't. Yeah. Getting five Elnux. Just real rough. <laughs> the Karma match was the first tie for Hawk Tie. This is really a tough mulligan. Maybe I just don't. That's a tough mulligan there. Yeah, I never found a ruination that last game, but yeah, probably would have saved us. Um, drawing a second ruination, not good. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. My best draw is uh, a death mark. To remove, uh, you know, the ephemeral. My path is clear. Do not fear the shrouded path. I wish I could wish I could ruination now. Oh, they whiffed? Whoa, they whiffed on that. Let 
Not expecting the whiff. First step's the hardest. Don't ask how I got it. What would they do if I just pass? At least we get an extra Omen Hawk. They still have a lot of mana to play more things, but at least get an Omen Hawk. I guess they could have denied. I didn't want to risk passing and them uh, not doing anything again. I knew, and now I am. The order rewards. These shadow assassins are so good. It's too late for you. Even, you know, like, wrathing away those creatures that draw cards isn't very helpful. They're up, up cards on us right now. Looks like they drew deny. Where there is life, there is hope. I don't really see how I'm going to be winning this. They have like a really big flyer. We'll see though. Okay. That helps. That helps. That was a good draw. Against a big flyer. They picked the wrong row. Eh. I don't know. You win? Why are y'all saying you win? You can win now? What are y'all talking about? Am I missing something? How do we win? Press OK. I'm not saying I win. Oh, just in general, because we drew the, the grass, you're just saying that we're in a good spot. So I don't know if I want to like waste a, a grasp on this, you know, use a grasp on this thing, because this thing's elusive for the turn, but that's it, just for the turn.
me if you can. We could use it on this thing. They'll never see me coming. We definitely don't necessarily win. Yay. I was thinking they're gonna have like a burst speed pump. Glad they don't have a burst speed pump thing. We get to actually use deny. Have to get fortunate with our our drawing. You know, we're just drawing one card a turn. Um Out of removal, they just play more flyers. They cannot strike what they cannot see. All right, there's a removal spell. If I should vengeance the five three and start attacking with my karma. These are dangerous lands. Hey, after wizard. We need to draw one of our life linkers, or that. That's also the perfect draw step. Wait, that's a f fast spell. I can wait till they attack and then do that. If they play another creature. That was the perfect draw. Flank. Do not question our resolve. The Yordle here is with me. One candle for every sun. Stream's going good. I yeah, we had our first tie. That was pretty intense. Uh, yeah, my uh, because whenever Karma transforms, whenever I play a spell, cast it again on the same targets. So all my spells are cast twice because of Karma. Order. 
Yeah, we had a Karma Mirror that couldn't, that just couldn't end. Strike for the balance. Return to us. Hmm. Wow, what a draw step. I go unseen. The perfect draw again. Yeah, so it eventually ended in a tie because we hit too many turns. I think it's 40 turns. We went to like turn 40 and nobody had won, and so it was just a tie. Alright, so I'm not going to play another 5 games. Usually, usually we play 10 matches with, with the decks. I think I'm going to stop at uh, 5 matches for, for the Spooky Karma here, because these 5 matches were still an hour 40 minutes. But we get our champion capsule. Come on, two champions. Two champions. Nah, one champion. But we got an Anivia. My first Anivia. So, still awesome. And a She Who Wanders. Rhyme Tusk Shaman. This card's awesome. Okay, so I can go two more levels and then I get a champion wild card. But it's a lot of it's a whole lot of XP. Do y'all think it's worth it to go the two more to get the champion wild card? Um, or do I change, you know, region and you know it's less XP and start working again towards the champion capsule? I stayed, I stayed there and got the champion wild card with Piltover and Zahn, and then I'm at level 8 with everything else. You went to 18. Because the thing is, for me, I'm, I'm also just out of, like, shards to make other cards. Oh, I have a champion wild card still. Yeah, the champions are the most valuable period. So all right, so yeah, I'm going to I'll stay I'll stay here try to get this champion wild card first, get to 18 and then go back. All right, but anyway, there we go. There's Spooky Karma. Uh it can grind with the best of them. We went 2 2 1. Um you know, so I'm trying a Ledros instead of the third Rekindler. Um you know, like you can yeah, you know, if you're playing this later on, let me know what you think of either Third Rekindler or Ledros. Um, you know, we did go two zero versus Elusives. So that is true. We did we did win both of our Elusive matchups, so that was really good. Withering Whale was incredible. This card was awesome. Um, and yeah, if we if we would play the Spooky Karma Mirror again, I think that we would win because we now have Ledros, and you know opponents don't have Ledros, and I think that's that's kind of like the important card. So like if we would have had Ledros, we could have been three and two. Um, but yeah, definitely definitely a slow deck, you know, hour forty beds for the five matches. Uh, oh well, fun to play though, fun to play. All right, those y'all watching on YouTube. Hit that like button over there. Uh, yeah, let me know about like that Ledros uh, if you if you like that idea or or if you just like the power of Rekindlers. We saw like that very last game that we played. You know, Rekindler bringing back Karma and maybe getting multiple Karmas in play. Um. Oh yeah, I guess I had the vile the vile Maw play that would have been lethal. Yeah, so we could have been three and two that that route too. Um. <clears throat> but. Anyway, there we go. All right, so thank you so much for watching some Spooky Karma, and I'll see you for the next video.